All right, well, it's August 18th. It's been a couple of days since we made a video, uh, but we didn't really have a chance to get out to the house and they hadn't made a ton of progress because they were waiting on some last minute work and inspections. But as you can see, there's more lumber on site and the subfloor is down. So the uh, inspection for the insulation went fine, no issues. Um, so at least the insulation in all the new areas has been laid down. Um, they got most of it probably done in the existing areas too, but that wasn't a blocker from an inspection standpoint, so they can take their time on that and uh, do it right and get it done kind of whenever. So the big thing is we can at least just get the subfloor down and the framing can continue. So they've got a good amount of progress kind of done getting most of the subfloor patched in. They haven't done this kind of central area of the house yet mostly because uh, there's a few areas yet where these support beams are holding up the old roof and they'll need to probably build some new support in or sort of selectively get the subfloor down to support that while they take the beam out. Um, and a lot of this old subfloor in this area here too probably needs to come up because the flooring underneath it isn't really framed 100% correctly. Uh, they've reframed some of this as you can see in here. But uh, some of the flooring yet underneath this area was um, framed not with a 2x6, but ultimately with what was a 2x4 with a 2x2 two two on top of it. Uh, that little 2-inch drop was to accommodate tile in the old entryway. Uh, so they actually framed out everything in this area with 2x4s originally and then furred them up with 2x2s two later on. So they'll have to pull out those old 2x2s, two or sorry, the 2x4s that aren't going to be... I guess up to code or structurally what we need, but they'll they'll get to that later. They've got obviously plenty of other things that they can work on in the meantime. And uh, I guess the other part of good news is it looks like pretty much all of my measurement and layouts for the plumbing uh, seem like they came out in the right spots. So um, that's hopefully good news as well. Um, you know, sort of measured everything multiple times and try to get it in the right spot, but without any real walls to work off of and. It's just kind of blank slate. I had to guess in a couple of places to make sure that it was accurate, but it looks like everything is coming out uh, sort of where it was supposed to be in the middle of walls. And uh, they've even started framing up more of the exterior walls. So they've extended now the garage wall to the side of the house here. You can see a new opening for what will eventually be framed in for a window. And they've started laying out a lot of the structural lumber to stand up for more walls when they get around to doing more of the framing. So. Uh, now that all the subfloor is down, which I'm assuming we spent a good deal of the morning kind of working on, they'll probably rock and roll and get a lot of these walls stood up pretty quickly. Uh, there's not a lot kind of stopping it at this point. They're just going to, I'm guessing, work it. Start at one end of the house, kind of work their way through and get at least the exterior walls stood up and then uh, work on the interior when they can. But uh, a lot of this sort of the interior and the main structural walls they want to get up because the ceiling or sorry the roof trusses will come in probably another couple of days here they're guessing around Thursday so they'll want to have a lot of the exterior walls framed up and ready to accept the new trusses so that that doesn't become a blocker for them um, they've done little bits here and there as they can but I think the big thing at this point is really going to be doing the exterior perimeter and getting the roof trusses on which is nice because then once the roof trusses are up, we'll be able to get uh, paper on the on the roof and get it closed off. We have had you know, a couple of little sprinkle showers here and there uh, throughout the course of the project. Still, you know, well into the summer, at least as far as California is concerned, but we don't want to take any chances with rain coming that uh, all of our new work here gets rained on. So the sooner they get the new rough trusses in, get the exterior walls framed up and uh, closed off at least with... Uh, the roof decking and the tar paper the better off will be that'll buy us a lot of time then we can work on the interior of the project which we know is going to take quite a long time to wrap up but um, I'm guessing another two days before you know the roof trusses show up they'll have the exterior walls framed in and uh, we'll kind of be on to the next phase so uh, starting to really look like a house again now that the floor is down you get a sense for where everything's going to be and like I said knock on wood it looks like most of the plumbing layouts were we're accurate, so I'll hopefully there's no rework needed there once we get everything in, but it uh, looks like we're close enough for now.